Hi everyone, this is Trisha Thompson from Gluten-Free Watchdog. I am very excited to bring you the results of our pilot study on gluten levels of fries that were cooked in shared fryers with wheat. This study was presented as an abstract and poster at the AOAC International Annual Meeting and Expo in September 2020. As we all know, consumers with celiac disease are discouraged from eating fries cooked in shared fryers at restaurants. This recommendation is based on presumed gluten exposure versus evidence-based testing data that cross-contact occurs. To the best of my knowledge, this is the first study to assess the gluten levels in fries after cooking in a fryer that also cooks wheat-containing foods. 20 orders of fries were purchased from 10 different restaurants in California and Ohio. Restaurants confirmed that the fries were free of gluten-containing ingredients. Restaurants also confirmed that fryers were used to cook wheat-containing foods, such as fried fish, fried chicken, and onion rings. Fry orders were sent to the lab via diagnostics and tested using both the sandwich and competitive R5 ELISAs. Each individual order of fries was ground and tested in one gram duplicates using each assay. Each order of fries was tested four times for a total of 80 extractions. When the fries were tested with the sandwich R5 ELISA, the assay that quantifies intact gluten, 45% contained gluten ranging from 7 parts per million to over 84 parts per million. 25% of fry orders contained gluten above 20 parts per million. Fries from 60% of restaurants contained quantifiable gluten in at least one order of fries. Using the competitive ELISA, 15% of fry orders had detectable gluten protein fragments. Issues with the competitive ELISA came to light during our testing. These issues are discussed at length in the white paper posted on Gluten-Free Watchdog. A link is included at the end of this presentation. This table includes all data from our fry testing. Sandwich results greater than 20 parts per million gluten are highlighted. Not surprisingly, the gluten level of fry orders sometimes varied within a particular restaurant. It is important to note that the two fry orders from each restaurant were purchased on consecutive Saturday afternoons. So let's put the results from our fry testing into perspective. Remember that five orders of fries tested above 20 parts per million. You may be wondering what this means in terms of the amount of gluten consumed. Looking at this as simply as possible, each one ounce or 28 gram amount of any food containing 20 parts per million of gluten contains approximately one half milligram of gluten. Believe it or not, an ounce of restaurant fries is equal to about four fries if they are the variety shown in the photo. If the gluten level of fries is 40 parts per million, Every four fries contains one milligram of gluten. 60 parts per million of gluten, 1.5 milligram of gluten. 80 parts per million of gluten, 2 milligrams of gluten, etc., etc. One of the co-authors of this study, my friend and colleague, Trisha Lyons, purchased a medium order of restaurant fries. As you can see, they weighed about 5.5 ounces. If this entire order of fries is eaten and they contain a level of gluten of 20 parts per million, three milligrams of gluten will be consumed. You can see how the milligram amount of gluten increases as the part per million level of gluten increases. 10 milligrams of gluten per day is considered by experts to be a tolerable amount for most individuals with celiac disease. Based on the part per million levels and milligram amounts we just reviewed, eating fries cooked in a shared fryer could contribute substantially to this daily threshold. It is important to understand that the gluten level in a shared fryer will vary depending upon several factors, including previously cooked foods and how frequently the oil is changed. It also is very important to note that gluten in fries may not be fully detected. Heating to high temperatures may result in false negatives 
and underestimates of gluten content. So the bottom line, consumers with celiac disease or a gluten-related disorder should not eat food cooked in shared fryers with wheat due to the potential for cross-contact. This cross-contact may come from the fryer oil as well as shared holding trays, shared scoops, and shared fryer baskets. For more detailed information, please see the Gluten-Free Watchdog white paper posted at the link. A huge thank you to the co-investigators of this study. Just a note about each one of them. Luke is the laboratory manager at BIA Diagnostics, the lab that did all of the testing. Amy and Nancy had the non-enviable job of purchasing all the fries and sending them to the lab. Trisha Lyons has skills that I will never possess. She designed both the poster we submitted to AOAC and the printable study flyer that is available on Gluten-Free Watchdog. Thank you again to all of them.